What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we have another action figure set up for you guys and this time it is the biggest Friday the 13th action figure set up ever. So in today's video, guys, you will notice that we have the entire backstage full and we are going for the biggest Friday the 13th action figure setup ever. And if you guys did not look at your calendar this morning, it is indeed Friday the 13th. It is Friday, December 13th. And so I did want to do something special. I know we did an action figure setup yesterday in TLC 2019 WWE edition, but today we are doing Friday the 13th edition just for, you know, the special holiday. So I figured why not tune it up a little bit. You can probably tell my voice is super horrible. Horse. Like, my God, I felt like total shit this morning. Last night, I was trying to film this video. It was not working out. I was feeling like asses, glasses. I finally went to sleep. I was like, you know what? I'll sleep on it. I'll come back. I came back this morning. I'm ready to go, even though my voice sounds like I'm like, uh, uh. It sounds like somebody went inside my voice box and turned it down like four ticks deeper. Low-key wish my voice was always like this, but you know what, Brad? We can't, we can't get the voice we want sometimes. So let's just shut the hell up and get into this epic Friday the 13th action figure your setup, take you guys through it, and explain everything that's happening here today. So if you guys have not noticed yet, you know, Jason Voorhees is full over here, okay? We have every single Jason Voorhees in the collection as far as figures goes. We did get some of these for free from NECA. So a huge shout out to NECA for making this video possible and sending us some of these NECA figures. These Jason figures are fantastic. You can get them on eBay or at Target if you want to shop locally, and they may even have some at your local Walmart. But taking you guys over here into the corner of the setup, you guys will see the Undisputed Era trying to fight off Jason and a bunch of different Jasons. So we have uh, this part five getting attacked by Bobby Fish. We have this part four getting attacked by Kyle O'Reilly. And then we have Roderick Strong right here, my boy, kicking the shit out of this 2009 remake, Jason, while Adam Cole stands over him and laughs. Show me your face, ho. You can see he's pretty excited because they're the only ones kind of getting some offense in here today, it seems like. But basically, we have the Undisputed Era fighting off a bunch of Jasons, and uh, it's four on three, so they're kind of winning right now. Probably won't end up winning, but I thought it'd be cool to have them fighting back here at the edge of the setup. If we come right here, guys, you will see that we have part two Jason, and you will see in his hand he is rocking the pickaxe, and the pickaxe is going through the skull of Akira Tozawa. Poor Akira Tozawa getting bludgeoned in the back of the skull, not looking there. So part two Jason having added on the skull of Akira Tozawa. So we have the pickaxe going through right there. Very nice. I did actually drill into the skull. If you guys have seen our setups before, you will know that I did drill into the skull and paint that red so that it gives it that realistic feel. So there's Akira Tozawa in part two, Jason. If we come to the front, guys, you will see our American Hulk Hogan figure right here with his AK-47. You guys have seen this in a couple setups before, but I wanted to bring him back here since he's yelling and shooting the AK. And basically what he's doing is he's pumping these three Jasons full of lead right here, trying to uh, fight them off. Uh, probably won't do any good. You know, he's going to keep coming and coming until they finally get Hulk Hogan. But I thought it'd be funny to plug in Hulk Hogan again with his AK-47 going ham on these three Jasons right here, trying to get after him, so I thought that would be a pretty funny shot. You guys can see right here. I love this so much. <clears throat> I love this so much because you have like him shooting and he's like yelling and he's got his necklace blowing in the wind, so it's like, ah, and it's like, dt 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 and it's just taking out the Jason, so I really enjoy that part. We come just beyond that, guys, and we will have this part six Jason using his chain around his throat to choke out Jimmy or Jay Uso. I can't tell which one it is. I can only tell with the new re-released uh, Uso figures which one is which. I think this is Jimmy, though. I could be wrong. I think Jay is the one with the cross on his arm. Nonetheless, Jason is choking out Jimmy slash Jay Uso here with his chain. He's on his knees and he's choking him so hard that his damn tongue is sticking out. So we have part six Jason here from NECA choking the life out of Jimmy or Jay Uso with the chain. So I thought that was a pretty nice shot. We come to the right, guys. You will probably have my favorite figure in my entire collection. You will see this George Washington figure right here. And George Washington is chopping the hand of Jason. So he was going to chop Jason. Jason stuck his hand up and then his hand got sliced in half if you guys can get in there and see that so you guys can kind of see right there the axe is splitting the hand open and jason is reacting so general george doesn't back down from a fight you know he, he's gonna bring it to you let's go ahead and move 
these Jasons out of the way so we can see it a little bit better. So right there, you guys can see kind of what we got going on. General George doesn't take no shit, you know. He's coming after you. He's got his red axe, and he has split the hand of Jason. And I guess if anybody was going to win in this setup, General George Washington is going to win. So we have the George Washington figure fighting off Jason, and I forgot about that part. So I guess uh, now we're probably done with the guys fighting back. Undisputed Aaron George Washington, only ones getting any sort of offense in here today. Just to the right of George, guys, we do have this Freddy versus Jason, Jason figure, and he has gold dust on his knees, and you guys can see gold dust screaming in agony on his knees because he is yelling because Jason obviously has him by the skull, probably crushing his skull and about to take him out with a machete. So he's getting, you know, double whammy, double bogey right there, about to get destroyed by the machete, and uh, Jason's got his hand on his forehead, just crushing the skull. I really like this. Uh, the face of gold dust just says it all. I really like the grabbing hand on this Freddy versus Jason, Jason from NECA. Uh, after that, guys, we are going to take it back to the left side of the setup, and I don't know if you guys can really see it that well, but we do have Big Show trying to fight off Jason, so I keep forgetting about guys trying to fight back, but here we have Big Show stopping the hand of Jason, I guess going for the choke, and he's stopping it for now. You guys can see the grimace on his face. He's like, yeah, you son of a bitch. I don't know if he realizes that Jason actually has an axe in the right hand coming over the top after the Big Show, so he is stopping him for now, but I don't know how well that's going to last, but uh, for now, Jason is stopped in his tracks, but that axe is coming over the top very, very fast, and Big Show could be bludgeoned in the skull, so we'll have to see about that. If we come right here on this table, guys, you will see Dolph Ziggler with his arms chopped off by the Hedge Clippers by Roy. Obviously, if you guys haven't seen Part 5, well, spoilers, Jason Voorhees is not the killer. It is a guy named Roy, and there he is. That is the figure we got right there, and he is he has chopped off Dolph Ziggler's arms. You can see the expression. Kind of looks like he's smiling, but I'm not going with a smile. I'm going with an agony scream there with his arms chopped off. You even have the blood to tie in the details. You know, it's all about the details in the setup, so we want to make them realistic as possible. So we do have the blood coming out of the arms there as he has had his arms chopped off by those hedge clippers and he is squirming around like some sort of human centipede or something. There's a different angle of it. You guys can see the arm ligament sticking through the hedge clippers so I thought that was a pretty good shot of it. Coming to the middle guys we do have the big centerpiece of the setup. You guys know that Seth Rollins is always getting it in these setups. That's what we always do and I'm a big Seth Rollins fan. It's, no, it's nothing against Seth Rollins. It is more of just me making this custom figure and trying to get as much use out of it as possible possible instead of just having him destroyed and then leaving him in the box. So we do have this gaping hole in the center of Seth Rollins and then we have this giant Jason, bigger than any other Jason I think besides the one in the back maybe. But uh, this is probably the biggest Jason in the setup and he is uh, he has punctured a huge hole in the gut slash stomach area of Seth Rollins and uh, Jason is just taking it to him. So we have this gigantic Jason taking it to Rollins so I thought that was a pretty epic shot. Posing around this Seth is probably my favorite part of all the setups because you can do so many crazy things going through the stomach and you know what causes it so I thought that'd be pretty epic. To the right of him guys we do have the Hardy Boys just running for their lives if you guys can see their faces right there you can see he's just Argh! and then Matt Hardy behind him sort of has more of a smile going but at the same time they're both going Argh! and they're kind of running straight into a Jason so I really don't know how the hell they're going to get out they probably need to be going the other way towards that exit door but uh, I guess in you know a high stress situation you're like where the hell am I going get me the hell out of here and you'll do all kinds of crazy shit you didn't mean to Coming right here, guys, we do have this Part 7 NECA statue, and you have this Jason Voorhees sort of going after uh, AJ Styles, sort of how this Jason's going after Goldust, where he has the left hand on the skull slash eye, and he's trying to get away. You know, he's like, ah, you can see it right there on the face. Ah. So basically, he is about to bludgeon that AJ Styles. That's another big Jason in this setup. It's the Part 7 statue. It's sort of got some girth to it. He's taller, he's bigger, and uh, that's my favorite Jason. The Part 7 with Kane Hodder is definitely the best one. Best looking Jason. He just looks so badassery with a chain and like how a zombie he looks and uh, he's been, AJ Styles is about to get it in the face. Just beyond that guys, on the storage unit we do have this Mezco Part 3 Jason and he is going after Justin Gabriel. Obviously Justin Gabriel not a part of WWE anymore, but because he has the uh, face, he can get it here in the setup as well. You guys can see with that Part 3 Mezco figure. Um, I'm definitely uh, Team NECA. I'm definitely Team NECA over Team Mezco. Mezcos are nice. I just don't like the scaling. I like the scaling of the NECA figures much better and uh, 
I wanted to include the Mezco one though, so he is mounting over the top right there, about to take out Justin Gabriel. So I did want to plug that into the setup. Looking good there with a part three Mezco. Wanted to plug it in and see what we could get. All right, getting the rest of the setup may be a struggle, guys, but over the top, you guys can see that we do have this other giant Jason in the back. It is a different take on the other Jason you guys saw with the Seth Rollins. But basically, we have Earthquake and Brock Lesnar, you know, sort of yelling because this massive Jason has a huge axe, and they're like, oh, hell no, Brad. So you guys can see on the face of Brock Lesnar, he's like, oh, hell no, Brad. Here comes the pain. Uh, yeah, I think you are about to go in pain, Brad. And then right here, we have Earthquake doing the same thing, and I guess there's about to be an earthquake on his skull when this axe comes down and just bludgeons him. So yeah, that's what we're working with right there. Both, uh, we have both giant Jasons in the setup represented. I like them a lot. I've never featured them here on the channel, so it is cool to see them featured. And uh, yeah, Brock and uh, Earthquake about to get smashed. Just beyond that, I don't know if you guys can see but we have another Freddy versus Jason Jason going after Sami Zayn. He, Sami Zayn basically getting on top of those storage units thinking he's safe. Probably about to get the Achilles or the knee or the foot chopped off right there by Jason. But, you know, he's he's, a, he's safe for now, I guess, trying to run away from Jason. But it's just for a short time period. On the ground right here, guys, you will see Big E. And over the top of him is another Jason. And he does have that harpoon gun over the top of him aimed right at his face. And I don't know if you guys can see Big E's face, but he is screaming again. Just like everybody else in this setup up is screaming. Uh, Big E is no different here, and uh, I'd be screaming too if Jason was over the top of me with a harpoon gun aimed right at my face hole. I'd probably be pretty scared as well, so that is what we got going on right here. Wanted to make use of that harpoon gun in the setup, and then finishing out our setup, guys, you will see over here, we do have the other Uso, whether it be Jimmy or Jay. I think it's Jay. Could be wrong. We have another Jason on top of this stretcher. We have Kurt Angle on top of there as well, so I guess the guys in the back, Kurt Angle, Jay Uso, and Sam Zayn are all on top of their different things trying to get away, but then we have this Jason coming after him. We have these other two Jasons uh, right there by Kurt Angle. It's the two Atari Jasons from the video game released by NECA and uh, they're going after Kurt Angle and then we have the uh, Freddy vs. Jason back there in front of Sami Zayn going after him. And then finally we have Braun Strowman set on fire on top of these tables and uh, I really don't know why he's on top of the tables. Just thought it'd be cool to give them some different depth. Stack him on top right there and he is on fire uh, burning right there. So Braun Strowman is getting set on fire while the rest of them are trying to fight off or getting stabbed slash choked slash bludgeoned to death by Jason. But he got the different end of the stick getting burned alive. Don't know which one would be worse to be honest with you. But that pretty much does it for our massive or biggest Friday the 13th action figure setup ever. I had a ton of fun making it guys. Uh, again, doing horror figures and doing stuff like this is a lot more fun because you know the, the possibilities are endless and you can do all kinds of crazy stuff. You can customize your figures and make look thick, you know, they're bleeding and all that good stuff. So that's a lot of fun to do. But I think that is going to do it for today's action figure setup, guys. I thank you so very much for watching. Tomorrow, we're probably going to have our TLC predictions going up, so definitely be staying tuned for that. I'm going to go rest because, my God, my freaking, my voice sounds terrible. I need to rest. I'm exhausted. I just want to go back to sleep for a couple more hours, and then I'm going to get back up and start filming again. But that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Thank you so very much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and horror action figures figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.